let's do one more video to practice combinatorial probability. So in this example, we're going to think about poker, and we're going to use probability to understand why a pair of cards is nothing exciting. All right, so just in case you're not familiar with cards, we have four suits and 13 denominations. We have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, jack, queen, king. All right, and ace. Okay, so the probability of a pair is the number of ways to get a pair and three singles divided by the number of ways to get five cards in general. So we have 52 cards, the number of ways to get five cards in general, that's just 52 choose five. So the denominator is pretty easy. Um, we'll need to think a little bit more about how to get the numerator. Okay, so the number of ways to get a pair and three singles. First, um, well, there's a lot of orders you could think about this in, but I will think about it this way. Uh, there are 13 choose one different pairs we could get. So we could get twos, we could get threes, we could get fours, we could get fives, we could get six, sevens, eights, nines, tens. We could get two jacks, we could get two queens, two kings, or two aces. Okay, so once the denominator is chosen, then uh, once the denomination is chosen, like if we choose two twos, um, then there are four choose two ways to make that pair. Okay, so the pairs part of this is all worked out. Um, there are 13 choose one kinds of pairs, and then there are four choose two ways to make any given type of pair. All right, now onto the singles. Um, so if we have chosen one of these 13 to be the denomination for the pair, then that means that we cannot have another card of that, otherwise we would have a triple. So that leaves 12 other denominations, and we need three singles, and so that means that we need like them to be different denominations, right? Um, so we need 12 choose three different denominations. So the denominations can be chosen 12 choose three ways, and then the suit for each one of these cards can be chosen four choose one ways. Okay, so now we have everything we need to calculate this probability. So the probability of getting one pair and not anything better is 13 choose one times four choose two times 12 choose three times four choose one, four choose one, four choose one. So again, these last three are for the singles. This is for choosing which type of card, like a two or a three for the single. This is choosing which type of card for the pair, so like a king or a queen. And this is for choosing which um, suits are going to be making that pair. So like, is it going to be a spade and a heart or what? And then down in the denominator, of course, we have 52 choose 5. So we get about 42% is the probability of getting a pair. So that's relatively high, especially if you would go and calculate something more exciting, like a full house. Um, so this, this kind of makes sense why in a poker game, a pair is not worth very much.